Let's bring your AI images to life with Midjourney, Stable, or whatever you're using, and this tutorial will show you a couple of examples of what is possible. In the last video, we covered landscapes, and in this video, we'll look at more examples that hopefully inspires you. Scene 1. Open up a third-person template inside Unreal, and then I go to the plus icon up here, Shapes, and Cube. You can also do a plane, whatever suits you. Then we drag and drop your AI image from the desktop to the content folder, and then resize the cube a little bit so it gets bigger, and then drag and drop the image on top of your cube. And then keep scaling the cube a bit bigger so we can start building the scene. Now I'm gonna pick this wooden floor here and just stack it up until we have a nice floor in front of our image. And that's okay. Then I'm gonna select some of these pieces and duplicate them so I build a roof. Now I want to think about framing, so let's drag out some pillars here to the left and right. And then we'll use this wooden box as a table. I'm thinking we're making a shop. Very simple, nothing advanced. So I'm just dragging out some random shop items that could fit a game. And then we'll drag out the character. In the previous tutorial we created our own character, but it's optional. You can link your character's face to your phone and record reactions and speech. I cover all of this in a previous tutorial. I'll adjust the scene a little bit to fit the framing. And then using a sequencer, I'm adding keyframes to the camera so we get some camera movement. Then I record that, put it through Kaber and voila. Then just for fun, I made an alternative version with a window behind them. and put that through Kaber as well. For this scene, we're using a cyberpunk city. So again, let's go to the plus icon and add a cube, and then we resize it and drop your image on top of the cube. And then let's move the cube back behind the window frames, and then keep resizing until it fits your scene. And by the way, the scene that we're working in now is for free. You can find it in the description. And look, it's that simple. And then I added a character. You can find it as well in the description. Then I added some simple camera movement with an idle animation. And then I turned off all of the lights in the scene and added my own light with some color to fit the AI image better. And this is the final result. And the last scene is also for free, you can find it in the description, and we're doing the same thing, just adding an image to a cube, and then resizing it, and then making sure that it fits the background. And that's it for this video, please throw me a like if you want to see more of this content, and check out my previous tutorials if you want to learn more in detail how to use Unreal. Take care and have a good evening.